Astigmatism is when <clears throat> there is an unequal tension pattern between the four muscles in your eyes, the upper muscle and the lower muscle, and one on the side. So if one of them is tighter than the other, then it will pull the cornea out of shape. It becomes more oval, and you have astigmatism. Uh, the, what happens is that there is two rays, one ray that is on the horizontal ray and the vertical ray. So if one is wider, bigger than, uh, more oval than the other, then the focal point will be either before or after the retina. So you have two focal points, one on the retina and one either before the retina and one behind the retina, which causes the distortion, either shadows or um, elongation of, of the letters. How do you test for astigmatism? Uh, the old-fashioned test is uh, looking at this diagram here. You may have seen this before. So if you look at it, uh, all the lines should be equally black. There should be no lines that have shadows. There should be no lines that are darker. There should be no sections that are gray. So everything should be perfectly equal. So if there's any distortion, uh, for example, you might see 12 and 6 o'clock darker, or it could be also 9 or 3. These are typical... Uh, examples of astigmatism. So then the uh, distortion, if there's any distortion from any distance actually, uh, then you have astigmatism. You can have astigmatism in just one of your eyes, so therefore you must check one eye at a time. You can have it at different distances, so it is no guarantee that you don't have it at arm's length or even beyond arm's length. Some people have astigmatism only near but not in the distance, and others have astigmatism in the distance and not in the near. Or you can actually have it at different levels in, in the, the distance. And sometimes it changes as you go out. It can be very complicated. The exercise we do is a very effective little exercise. We assume that the astigmatism is caused by an unequal tension relationship between the four eye muscles that causes your eyes to uh, distort. And therefore the exercise is all about relaxing those muscles. And it's very easy to deal with. When we reduce the stress producing the exercise, then the cornea goes back to its normal shape and astigmatism is a thing of the past. It's very simple, very easy, and it, it takes a few days and then astigmatism is gone.